Lyme disease? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Look, Lyme disease can be scary. Actually, it is scary, right? One day you wake up and you just feel like you're gonna faint or, or maybe you have joint pain or maybe you have neurological damage or, or some kind of damage in your spinal cord and it all happened because of a tiny little bug. Now that's just, it's scary and it's intimidating and it really, it messes with you. One moment you're fine, the next moment you got some kind of crazy symptoms. Maybe you get like flu-like symptoms like throwing up or, or maybe you have spinal cord and nervous system damage or maybe you have vertigo and you feel like you're gonna faint. You know, all these different things and it all happened because of a bug this big. A tiny, tiny little bug is just affecting your life in extreme measures and it's insane. You know, when I was first diagnosed with Lyme disease, I had a business to run, I have a daughter, I have another baby on the way, it's a boy. I have a wife, a house, I got all these bills to pay, I got a lot of stuff going on. And then all of a sudden I get Lyme disease. And then the first thing that popped into my head, the very first thing was, man, I don't have time for this. I just don't have this kind of time to be wasting on being healthy and focusing on my health. I have the business to run, I have kids to take care of, I have a wife to, to cater to, I have all these things, and I don't have time for this. Now, you might feel the same exact way, I'm sure you did. It's a lot, I have a lot to do, I don't have time to be taking care of that. Now, obviously, the second thing I thought of right after that was, oh my God, what are my kids gonna do? What's my wife gonna do, right? And my specific case of Lyme disease was, it was attacking my heart. My heart rate slowed down to 30 beats per minute. Now that, that's half what it should be in maybe a sleeping person or a person that's highly active has like a 60 BPM. Mine was 30. So I was, you know, almost comatose. The doctor couldn't believe I was still standing on two feet. I was scared. I didn't have enough time to deal with the situation. I didn't know what to do with myself. It was intense and, you know, all I knew was, all right, now, Health has to be a priority. My business can go on the back burner. My kids, I'll, be, I'll still play with my kids. I'll still cater to my wife, but right now what's important is my health so I can continue to be there for my kids and I can continue to be there for my wife. And you know, it's times like those where you really, really question what you've been doing with your life. You know, I've looked back and I said, you know, what have I been doing here? What is going on? Am I doing the right things? Am I focusing on the right things? Do I have the right business? Is my business going to affect the world? Am I going to leave a legacy? Am I going to leave something for my kids to be proud of, for my kids' kids to be proud of? Am I going to leave something that people will care about? Did I matter? Am I loving enough? Am I loving my kids? Am I playing with my kids often enough? Showing my wife that I love her. All this stuff runs through your head just from a silly disease from a bug this big. But with me, it was serious. After all, it should be taken seriously. People have died. People have had heart failure. People have died from severe heart blockage due to Lyme disease. People have died from nervous system stuff. Sometimes it leads to multiple sclerosis and cases of Bell's palsy. So Lyme disease should be taken seriously. So, you know, what did I do? The only option is to make time, is to really go at this full force, do everything I can possibly do to get rid of this Lyme disease so I can be there for my kids, so I can watch them grow up, so I can be there for my wife, so I can, you know, leave my mark on the world before I have to go. So I just started, I deep dived into research. I learned about Lyme disease, everything I could learn. I learned about diet. I learned about exercise. I learned about, you know, herbal remedies, healthy conscious living. I learned about how to be healthy, how to bring your body from where it is to where it's possible to heal itself. See, I believe that our body has the possibility to heal itself. It just needs the right tools, right? If you're eating things like sugar, processed sugar and processed foods, chips, you know, burgers from fast food restaurants, all these highly processed foods, your body doesn't know what to do with that. Your body doesn't use that to heal itself. There are things you could be eating, herbs you could be using that will heal your body. And I started learning and I kept learning and I kept learning and I kept learning and to tell you the truth, I never stopped learning. I'm still learning to this day. I read every single day about Lyme disease, how to treat it, what are the natural remedies for it, and what can you do besides what the doctors tell you, which is take these antibiotics, it should kill off you know, the Borrella bacteria and you can go back to your life. What if it doesn't? And it hasn't before. It's, it's happened where people take the antibiotics for three weeks, it doesn't go away, 
they still have these crazy symptoms, they don't know what to do. So I've just researched the crap out of this stuff and, and really tried to soak up as much as I can still to this day. Today I read an article about Lyme disease, how to treat it naturally. Yesterday I read the same kind of stuff. I'm always learning about this stuff, always watching videos, trying to learn. And then the next possible thing that I should do is to teach. You know, a man once told me, a very wise man said, the best way to learn something is to learn it and then teach somebody else. Because when you're teaching somebody else, you must understand it yourself. You must soak it in yourself. So I decided I'm gonna try to teach what I know to other people. And that's why I decided to create life health and wellness. That's why I decided to create this content and decided to focus on helping people, you know, manage their Lyme disease, heal themselves from Lyme disease, and choose the lifestyle that's going to allow them to live a high quality life even with or without Lyme disease because there's no real way to know if it's cured. So after I learned all this information, all, I learned so much, right? I soaked it all in and it was for me to use. It was so that I could heal my Lyme disease and get on with my life. I started learning so much, I started applying it to my life. I started seeing results. I would go back to the doctor and it would be a little bit better. Then I would go back to the doctor, it would be a little bit better. Then I'd go back to the doctor and it would be a little bit better. And it just kept getting better and better. And now I feel like a million bucks. I haven't had any symptoms at all. I haven't, you know, dealt with any type of issues. In the beginning, I felt like I was gonna faint. My heart rate was down to 30. I was, I was dying. And I had to take severe, massive, action in order to get myself out of that cycle that was going to eventually lead to my death. So now, today, I'm glad to say I feel amazing and I want to help. I learned so much that I feel like it's my duty to pass it on, to teach other people, to help other people understand what it takes to heal your body, what it takes to get rid of Lyme disease, and what it takes to live a healthy, conscious lifestyle. See, it's my belief that everyone deserves the highest quality things in every area of their life. So by teaching about how to get rid of this nasty disease completely naturally, we provide the best and safest solution for your biggest health problem, Lyme disease. Hey guys, it's Ryan Kearns. Thanks for watching that video and I hope you pulled something from it and got value from it. I just wanted to let you know that I recently wrote an ebook that details my story of my battle with Lyme disease and how I healed myself with diet, herbs, and healthy conscious living. It's called Lyme Wars. How I counterattacked Lyme with nutrition, herbs, and healthy conscious living. If you're interested, it's actually completely free for the time being and you can click on the link below or go to lifenutrition.com to get your free copy. If you like what you saw in this video, push subscribe below. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.